What's up guys, this is Jeremy here with the Arkansas CW. Today I'm here with Jesse and Josh, the producers of the This United States of America. How are you guys doing this morning? Doing great. Doing great, thanks. That's great, that's great. Are you guys glad to be here? Excited? It's incredible being at the Bentonville Film Festival. Yeah. It the is. Opening it night is. was so much fun last night. Yeah, this has been a really a really great experience so far. I mean, we've only been here a few hours, it feels like, and Definitely. people have just been so <laughs> awesome and kind and, and, you know, helping us find everything, um, and it's really been great, great festivals. So so loving the Bentonville energy. Definitely. That's the Southern hospitality for you. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so can you guys tell me more about the Disunited States of America? Because this sounds like a really interesting film that you guys have. Absolutely. The Disunited States of America is about uh, the unprecedented 2016 uh -huh. election, but not, not about the politics. Uh, no politics in this movie. Uh, it's about, we followed six really different interesting people okay. across the country um, in the months and days leading up to the election. And uh, you never see the candidates, there's no narration, there's no interviews. Um, it, it's just about people putting their faith in something bigger than themselves and their hopes and dreams into uh, whichever pre whatever presidential candidate they're hoping will right. win. It's really like a time capsule of, um, thanks for holding the mic. Uh, <laughs> That's teamwork right there, right? <laughs> Producer and human mic. <laughs> uh, it's really about American culture, like a time capsule of American culture during 2016, mm -hmm. which is, you know, a year where I think we can all say we, we started to really notice the polarization in our belief systems in, within our own country. And, uh, and we, we were able to, uh, to find people that represented many different sides of that belief. And, um, and, uh, and, and get inside their lives a little bit to, to make them more human to those of us who aren't really exposed to people with different belief systems. Right, right. The thing we've been telling people is that uh, it doesn't matter where on the political spectrum you are, you'll find someone in this film that you really like. Definitely. And you'll find someone else in the film that you're challenged by. Of course, of and course. Everyone so has a different for everybody. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, exactly. Our best hope is that it will inspire conversation between those people. Great, great. Of course, conversation and dialogue, that's the best way. Commun we have to communicate, right? Yeah. Absolutely, because this is a spoiler alert, but it turns out in the end we're all human. Uh, of course, of course, if, for those that didn't know already. For those right? that didn't know, we're all It seems like, you know, there might be some people that don't take that into context, <laughs> probably, so, you know. But I can tell you guys put a lot of time, effort, and passion into this, though, so I really love it. And I also hear that you guys have some individual short films. We can do. You tell me more about that. We're incredibly lucky. We we have disunited together, mm -hmm. but then uh, we individually each have a short film here. I'll let Josh go first. Okay. Uh, so my short film is called Lunch Ladies. Um, it is a horror comedy. It's two crazy lunch ladies with an obsession with Johnny Depp, mm -hmm. who uh, get a little bit over the top in their uh, <laughs> in their quest to become his personal chefs. Wow. Uh, so uh, nothing to do with politics. Nothing to do with documentaries. <laughs> it was right. just we. Uh, so really, just like uh, it's been it's been really great to have two movies here and to and to have them be so different and uh and uh yeah it's been awesome and uh my short film is called the matchmaker mm -hmm. it's written by cy rosen who's a, a legend in tv writing he was on the wonder years and uh taxi he's, he's done i mean his imdb is is incredibly mm -hmm. long and directed by the unbelievable leonora pitts who wishes she was here it's starring Rhea perlman it's starring barbara bain who was uh in the original cast of mission impossible uh, -huh. uh, uh robert romanis uh, if you're a fan of uh, fast times at ridgemont high he was uh, in, he was damone um and it's a story about a, a son whose mother uh, is in a retirement home and he's afraid that she's going to catch Alzheimer's. So he searches out for a new best friend for her to keep her mentally wow, stimulated so that she doesn't catch right. Alzheimer's, right, which is right, insane right. because you can't catch Alzheimer's. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so we wanted to find a, a story. Uh, it's this beautiful story that usually mm -hmm. when you hear stories about specifically older women mm -hmm. uh, in retirement homes, it's, it's sad and depressing. And this is not that. Right, this is right, a, right. An entertaining, fun, <laughs> upbeat story about uh, women that are older mm -hmm. and incredibly sharp and funny right, and ribald, right. and uh, it's really great. Man, you guys are really, really doing your thing, and I'm excited to check both of you out this week. And Jesse, Josh, it's been a pleasure speaking with you guys this morning. Thanks so Thank much, you. man. I've enjoyed it. Pleasure.